Sorry, Sam. He doesn't bite. Glad you made it. There, she's down. Even though she can't drink it, my body keeps making it. Going through the motions really helps with the soreness, though. What is she? She's my daughter. And I'm her mama. It's okay. She's only connected to me. It's not like the other BTs. You can see it, right? You're hooked up. Now you know why I can't leave. So about the super saw. Do you think the grown-ups could talk for a minute? Thank you. Look at this. This was the chiral density when the supercell appeared. But almost immediately after, it dropped to normal levels. In other words, the storm vanished in less than a second. That's impossible. Okay, let's pull the data from your cufflinks and take a look then. Well, that's all pretty crazy, but at least you're not. Timestamps in the logs support your story. Best guess I can muster is you were trapped between two different space times. Two different space times? HQ is doing a deeper analysis. All they've got to work with is the frequency spectrum, but with a little effort, they should be able to figure out where you were sent. <laughs> Another Cairo spike. She's been crying more at night. Chiral density increases in regions connected to the chiral network, but the numbers are way, way higher than I projected. That's bad, right? Yeah. More connections means more Chirelia. Early on, Bridges did acknowledge this as a potential problem, so... I installed special limiters in the cupids to keep the chiral levels in check. Looks like the limiter on yours is faulty, though. The supercell and the temporal phenomenon that you experienced may be related to all this. Are you saying if I keep extending the network, we might be in for more temporal phenomena? Maybe. Or worse cause another death stranding. Oh, but you got a solution. Of course I've got a solution. Right over here, in fact. We just need to integrate a limiter into this new cupid I threw together. Thought I'd make you one since you said you were coming. Crisis averted. No, crisis not averted. We need to rewrite the software to work with the new hardware. Well, then get to it. 
Yeah, um, no can do. I designed the hardware, but the software was written by someone else. Well, where can we find them? Her. The name's Lochna. She was a member of Bridges One. You'll have to head to Mountain Knot City. All right, I gotta take a Cupid there anyway. Oh, good. That's great. Here we go again. I don't know what's gotten into her lately. She's so scared, look at her. Maybe the other side wants her back. Or maybe she wants to go back. We can't keep on like this. That much I know. You want to tell me what happened? She was due. I was in the hospital waiting for a C-section. And the terrorists hit us. under the rubble. Nothing to do with... Wait. From wait. Ah. Felt like forever. But no one came. They said air. And water. Instead of bringing life into the world, I brought death. Alright. When the time fall stopped, my baby started to cry. She cried, cried, cried. Her life was the price I had to pay to survive. She saved me. ever since but she's a BT the ties that bind her to this place bind me too you could say I've never really been discharged and you're okay with that I mean you know she's gone you want to live your life in the shadow of the dead come on <laughs> you of all people you chose the dead over the living why else would you be here I just remembered. Dead men told me repatriates have special blood. Mind if I take a sample? Yeah, sure. Suck me dry. You already believed me in my sleep. A bit cold, ain't you? Just a second. 
There. All done. I want to run a test. Mama, are you? I'm sorry, Sam. Um, would you mind leaving us alone for a while? Yeah. I gotta get to work. Sam? Hey, forget what I said about chiral spikes. Reconnecting the world comes first. Maybe we're making things worse. Maybe not. But it's the only plan we've got. Good luck, Sam. Sam, the delivery terminal outside still works. Go ahead and get it connected. I'll give you further instructions from there. and his people came. They finally reached Echinoth City. There's no escape for me now. Everyone's dead, the city's destroyed, and what's left is crawling with BTs. They're everywhere. Where's your Kipu? But I was able to sneak away and reach out to you. This might be our last chance to talk like this. I just wanted you to know that I'm safe. For now. Promise me you'll keep building the Chiral Network. It's our only hope for the future. It's my only hope for freedom. And when you've finished, we can go back east together. Amelie, your Kipu, where is it? Sam, I'll be waiting for you on the beach.
Hey, Sam. I have some new info you should hear. Recently recovered thanks to your efforts to expand the chiral network. It, um, it concerns BBs. I dug this up on my own, just to be clear. No one ordered me to look. And if anyone asked, put it all on me. No need for you to deal with any blowback. You were just listening to me ramble on the wire, okay? Anyway, it looks like Bridges wasn't the first to bring back BB Tech. It was a group of separatists. Terrorists opposed to UCA expansion, according to the records. They started using them about three years ago. Right around the time Bridges One was putting plans in place to head west. Seems these separatists were having trouble with BTs too. And figured that if they could track them, they might be able to steer them into our path. When Bridges caught wind of this, the decision was made to fight fire with fire to start using BBs as a countermeasure. It's possible yours was commissioned for that very purpose, a fact I think someone may have tried to conceal, judging by the absence of BB-28 service record. I always found it strange that we were so willing to utilize technology we barely understood. Now we know why. We've been aping methods and techniques employed by others from the start. There's more you should know. It's about the original Bridge Baby experiments. Piecing together what little I could find, it looks like they started around the time of the Death Stranding. They were conducted on the island of Manhattan off the East Coast, which was completely and utterly obliterated by what was almost certainly a void out. Back then, these experiments had the full support and approval of the American government. It's all just guesswork. But I suspect the BB program was conceived to help gain a better understanding of the nature of the Death Stranding. However, due to ethical and safety concerns, public opinion was strongly against the program. Still, they pressed on, and in their desperation to make sense of the greatest disaster of their age, I think they caused another. I should also mention that the President himself was killed in the blast. It was after his death, when he was succeeded by then Vice President Strand, that the experiments were suspended by executive decree. Documents were shredded, facilities were decommissioned, and every effort was made to pretend that BBs had never even existed. Which begs the question how some random separatist group was capable of resurrecting the tech decades later. I'll let you know if I turn up anything enlightening. Bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. The hell do you think you're doing, Bridges? That network you're building is carrying some nasty stuff. Stuff nobody would want anywhere near them. I thought you people would have figured that out by now. We want no part of your chiral network or the UCA. That voice. Is that you, Mama? Uh, you hit your head there, Mama? I'm not yours, and yours is no kind of mother. All right. Enough games, Mama. <laughs> I think you heard me, mister. Mountain Knot City is telling you and the UCA to take a hike. You people keep doing what you're doing and you're gonna put us right back on the road to the Death Stranding. We didn't ask for you to come and tell us how to live our lives. We'll decide that for ourselves, thank you very much. All we want from you is the occasional delivery. Nothing else. So you speak for the city? That's right. I'm in charge. The name's Lampna. Lachna? Hold up, I, I need to talk to you. You're a technician, right? Look, go home and don't come back. Listen to me, damn it. I need your help. Well, we don't need yours, Bridges. You're only making things worse.
Sorry you had to deal with that, Sam. She's the boss over there, and she's not afraid to lay down the law. We need her, and we need her people. We've lost too many others as it is. Without Mountain Knot City, the Cairo Network and the UCA will never be complete. What now? So, here's the thing. Sam, Lachna is Mama's twin sister. Former Bridges One. Went west with the others. Second group, just like Mama. Mama's not her real name, of course. That'd be Malingan. Both have dooms and both are scientific geniuses. Mama's primary field of expertise is applied physics. Lachna's is theoretical. Mama designed the Cupid hardware. Lachna, the software. They said they could converse over any distance. Said they had a special bond that let them. I don't know how that's possible, but I'll tell you this. There wouldn't be a chiral network without them. They were so close that some said they were like one person in two bodies. Might be why they were able to develop the Cupid. But they had a falling out after Molingen's accident. Lochna left bridges and cut off all contact with us. I don't know what happened between them. But if we don't bring Lochna around, our plans to make America whole again are finished. Not that I'm asking you to stick your nose in their personal business. Though if you did, it might help us figure out how to bring Lochner around. Which would be great, because our plans to make America whole again are finished without her. In the meantime, if you've got any bright ideas, feel free to give them a shot. Isn't this what Mama wanted? Given the circumstances, I suppose I should look after it. Assuming that's all right with you. I'm, uh, sure she would have appreciated the gesture, Sam. What a wonderful gift. Thank you, Sam. You there, Sam? This is all my fault. I kept the truth from Lochna, and it cost us our relationship. I need to see her. Will you take me there? What about the kid? What happens if you leave? I know. But this thing's bigger than us now. Come back to my lab. Sam, thanks for coming back. Got something for you. These are your new cufflinks. They still work as a terminal, but I've added a weapon function. I was able to redesign everything from the ground up after the last connection. And they're weapons too now. That's right. Cord cutters. I should explain. BTs are connected to the other side via umbilical cords, right? When those cords bring the matter of our world into contact with the antimatter of theirs, boom, void out. But, just as Dead Man theorized, your blood does have unique properties. It can be used to cut a BT's cord. So, I've added that function. Cut the cord of the BT, and it returns to the world of the dead. No BT, no void out. Win win. These things can cut them loose. If you can get close enough without them noticing, yes. Cord snipping, super handcuffs. 
Right. Let's try them out. Cut the cord connecting us. She's sound asleep. I made sure she got plenty of milk. Just do it. Please, Sam. Set us free. This world was never hers, but all the same, I didn't want her to leave it. Even though she's already lost. Truth is, She's not really my daughter. The attack and everything, that was all a lie? No. That part was true. My ovaries can't produce eggs, and Lochna has trouble with her uterus. Long story short, neither of us can have children. I was all right with it. I mean, <laughs> children, who needs them, I thought but my sister thought differently. Lachna wanted a child, someone to carry her genes. She fell in love with another member of Bridges, but he died in an accident. She was devastated, of course, as was I. Back then, strong emotions like that, I could feel hers and she could feel mine. When I sensed her desire to join him, to end it, I went to her and said, let's have a baby. We took one of Lachna's eggs and fertilized it with his frozen sperm. And I carried it to term. A healthy baby grew inside of me. But then there was the attack. And our bond was severed. I wanted to tell her. But I was bound to the child. I couldn't just abandon her. But I was wrong. Lachna needs to know. You have to break some ties to forge others. Keep me tied to everything. If we're going to reconnect the world, I need to reconnect with my sister first. So please, Sam. Do it. Sam, would you set me up? I haven't been outside in a long time. It's just too much to take in all at once. Are you sure? I thought you might be claustrophobic after your time in the rubble. I'll be fine, so long as I can see out of the bag. The warmth of the light, the touch of the wind. The scent of the world.
Lucky you. The two of you are still connected. Okay, Sam. Let's go. Surprise prepped in everything. But it looks to me like your hands are full. It's no biggie. We can always tweak the rules a bit. not get eaten. Sound like fun? Of course it does.
Thanks for that, Sam. That was amazing, Sam. I don't know how you managed to pull that off. If only we all had your talents. The hospital I was staying at was front of the fire village. Still have nightmares about it. Still here the crack before it all came to run down. I've been scared to death of bridges ever since. And yeah. I know how that must sound considering our employer. <sighs> I'm scared of the dark too. Don't sleep anymore. Damn. We knew each other's thoughts without saying a word. My joy was her joy. Her pain was my pain. be about bringing them into the fold, where they would share, share alike. I knew it could change the world. With Amelie's help, we finalized the keypad design. But after the attack and birth, everything changed. For the first time in my life, Wachner wasn't there. But I'm not alone anymore. I can feel her again. She's close. Thank you, Sam. I feel whole again. You and me, sis. Me and you. I shouldn't have 
kept you in the dark. Tried to save her. I couldn't. You don't have to say any more. Hotman. You need to fix his Cupid. I couldn't save our child, but you can save our world. Only you. I love you. You hear me? Forever. And always. Make the world whole, okay? Just like you make me. All that she went through, I had no idea. I thought, I thought she'd severed our bond on purpose, that she stole our child and ran. I fixed your cupid like she asked. Limiters should be functioning properly now. There is one thing. Before I sat down to work, I took a long, hard look at the code. I'm pretty sure someone's tweaked it. Either that, or my memory's going to pieces. Someone rewrote your code? Rewrote might be overstating it. Let's just say it wasn't the latest version I released. And yet, because of it, I was finally reunited with Malingan. Could be we found our culprit already. She died beneath the rubble, with our child still inside her. Her car passed over to the other side, but her haw remained bound to our dead daughter. She knew all of this, of course. That's why she kept one cuff loose. Didn't want anyone seeing her vitals. Shame she couldn't use her favorite invention. She did all that to keep me and our daughter safe. Sis? I can hear you. We're whole again. We're one. Like before in the womb, remember? Thanks to you, Edgenot City is finally within reach. And you, Lachna. Your work will help ensure that the Chiral Network remains online. 
Together, we might just make it all the way west. Now then, Sam, there's something else you ought to know. We've been studying the data from when you claim you encountered those soldiers. We had audio, which doesn't paint a complete picture on its own, but... The languages, the names, and terms we picked out, the munitions we could identify... Everything seems to indicate that you were on a battlefield over a hundred years ago. World War I, to be precise. It wasn't a dream. Wasn't a hallucination. Maybe you were spirited away to another dimension or something. And given the time discrepancies, maybe you were sent to a beach. Can't say anything for certain. That said, I... I've never heard of a beach turned into a battlefield. But beaches are shaped by the will of the people who inhabit them. Perhaps Hartman can offer a more rational explanation. Beaches are his specialty. Unfortunately, he's still outside the Cairo network. Anyway, get some rest. No use dwelling on questions we can't answer yet. 